Then for the valley, it is actually pretty much the exact same thing. Um, just get a bit of tape, fold it. Take off one slip and start at the bottom. Oh, oh that first part. Peel off the second one. Again, bring it in here. Give it a squeeze and then feel the few those. This is actually a small. There's even more an issue dealing those pockets here further up when you get the neck rows where there is no membrane. You know, you always have this step in the in, in between the boards. Mm -hmm. And then just that will be hundred um, percent. for the chimney then um, what I like to do is <coughs> this is the width of the tape that eventually goes onto the wood fiber board. So I don't mark it in real life, but just for now I mark it. So I have a mark there, have a mark there, and that's the length. That's about the length of my tape I'm using here. Do that off. Then I cut it a couple of mils away from the corner, just a little bit, so that when I fold it down, you know, the tape kind of continues a little bit around the corner. And the tape, the reason I measured it before is, see the next tape, then goes down. And it pretty much meets the end of the first tape here. So I cut it about, oh sorry, I peel it off first. Stay away from the corner at another kind of three, three mil or so again. And that way, you know, the way the tape overlaps two times three mil each direction is a total overlap of about six mil. And that is normally absolutely water, uh, winter, uh, uh, airtight. So I assume it is watertight. We never had any leakage here. And here, you, now you can see the, the real gap I was talking about. So that's, that's what will happen 
at every board, every row, and rather to try to push the tape in, you know, live with it, accept it, get the gun, and fill that pocket, squeeze it down, water tight. So next would be the button stand. 